Hi everyone, it's Amy from Fitness Together. Um, a couple of days ago I posted a crock pot ch chicken that I kind of threw together one day and I got a lot of requests for the recipe. So instead of giving the recipe because I don't have a recipe, I'm just going to show you how to make it. So um, I have a big crock pot and I literally bought it because I had a chicken I wanted to make and the um, crock pot we had was tiny. So I got this at Walmart for like $34. Um, so I already have the chicken in there cleaned and ready to go. And really all I did, and this, it literally took me five minutes because like I said, I had a meeting at the gym the other day, so I had to just rush and make this. So I had, I chopped up uh, red onions, threw those in there, sweet potatoes or yams, I don't know which ones these are, I forgot. Um, last time I used carrots, I forgot to buy carrots, so no carrots, but you could use, I mean, zucchini, squash, anything you have on hand, just throw it in there. You don't want to get too technical about it. Then, I'm going to pour a bunch of water. The water is not hot. I'm just using the tea kettle for camera purposes. So, pouring a bunch of water in there. Or I guess some of it is hot. I did just make tea, but it doesn't have to be hot. Okay, so now I'm just going to season it. So, I use chili powder. I love, 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 love chili powder. So, I'm going to use a lot of that. This is sea salt. I'm just using the canister. Throwing that in there. And you see how fast I made this, so there's no excuses. I'm rushing too, but I'm still going to make dinner, and it's going to be ready. If I can get this open. Yeah. Okay, this is parsley. And you can add fresh herbs, but I would recommend adding those at the end, just because this is going to cook for eight hours. And if you put fresh parsley in there, it'll be like mush. <laughs> and then I have thyme. Throw that in there. Lastly, I'm going to put turmeric. I'm a very big fan of turmeric. So I put it on everything. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke holes in the chicken with a fork. One more thing I forgot to mention. Um, I do flip over the chicken and season the other side. When you do that, all the seasonings go into the water so that everything... Kind of gets incorporated um and i do make sure that the chicken has the breasts are face down so that they become super juicy because that's usually the part of the chicken that dries out the fastest so if you put them face down that won't happen um and then you set it and we'll come back in eight hours okay we're back it's about seven and a half hours later so moment of truth this has been cooking while i was at the gym all day um, it's still actually on because it was on for an eight hour timer, but as you can see the chicken is whole But once I start pulling it, it basically pulls apart and it's all cooked and tender and Ready to eat and I do save the bone broth like this stuff is full of nutrients. So don't just dump that out um, I'm making quinoa right now, and I'm gonna make a green and then there you go. I have dinner so